All right, welcome back, Algebra 2 students. I hope you have enjoyed the time off. Uh, personally, I've spent uh, some time getting ready for classes, obviously, and then most of the rest of the time I've been trying to follow my son around. Uh, he likes to walk everywhere, try to walk. I have to hold him to help, but uh, kind of tricky because I had surgery too, my legs all beat up. So we're having a competition to see who can walk on their own first. So far, he seems to be in the lead. All right, at any rate, um, I just wanted to kind of show you what a, this distance learning is going to look like. Obviously, all this is on Schoology, but I thought this video might help highlight some of the important points. All right, um, I got some instructions here which you can read through right at the, the main page of Schoology there. The huge difference I want to highlight, district is saying 30 minutes per class per day. Right, so that's a pretty big change because we normally have 50-some minute classes plus homework outside. So it's going to be a lot kind of slower pace than what we've normally been doing. For math, basically, roughly what we're going to do, it will be different somewhat each day, but for the most part, it'll be one day will be a lesson, like a video, which you can watch and take some notes, all right? And then after that will be an assignment on Schoology, right? So it'll go like lesson, assignment, lesson, assignment, kind of like that. Um, we're not sure what quizzes and tests are going to look like quite yet, but, uh, you know, likely those will be mixed in too. All right, with the videos, um, I encourage you to, when you're watching the math videos, to like pause them at points and try the questions first before watching through to the solutions, right? Once you know what's going on, try some of them instead of just watching the video. I think it'll be more meaningful than just straight watching the video. Okay, one other difference I wanted to highlight is I want to try this out, and this will maybe change with time, but I thought with the distance learning, one thing I could offer you is sort of like online office hours or help sessions. All right, and so the directions to join a help session with me are shown here on the screen. Hopefully, they're pretty straightforward. Um, I might expand the hours right now. It says 11 to 11.30 a.m., but uh, depending on how many people come or when people are available, I might extend it just to give you more time, and you can just pop in, ask a question, pop and say hello, whatever you want. Um, it'll just be on my computer. Uh, my son may make some noises in the background, but hopefully I'll be able to, to help and in, in, uh, during those times uh, if you need it. Okay, and then as far as the daily lessons go, I'm just going to make these little digital week folders, right? So you can see our first one here, right? It's got um, some announcements, some directions, right, of what to do. And then they have Monday, so the directions specific to Monday. Um, like I sort of talked about, this one's going to be a lesson day. So you can read the directions if you want, but there'll be a blog just to post what you've been doing. And then you'll watch the video Right? And then the next day, um, it'll just be an assignment, a Schoology assignment, which you can go through and do. And hopefully, it'll give you an auto score, um, auto score for that. All right. Um, I also put on the calendar if you want to follow that way. Right? So the calendar is basically it's going to say reference that folder. But you know, if you want, you can click on it. And I'll say we're doing day one here. And then I'll have a link right into that folder. So it'll link right into the Monday folder. So if you want to follow through the calendar, that's another way to do it. All right, so um, yeah, just to help. So the things that can help you is you can always email me, right? You can go to one of those online help sessions. And then the final one, which I think might actually be the best, is I have this distance learning blog for week one. And if you just blog a question here, like say, hey, question number four from Monday's homework, I didn't get how to do that, can you help me? Right, I can post a response video to that showing you how to do it. So that might be a good way. And then there'll be a bunch of, hopefully videos in there that can help whenever you get stuck. Um, final thing I wanna highlight for chapter nine specifically is what we're starting next, right? Which is about series and sequences. And there's a lot of formulas. So most of this chapter is just being able to use the different formulas. So I wanna highlight here this formula sheet. If you just click on that PDF, um, it'll give you the formulas that you'll need for this chapter. So it's kind of like a good summary of what's going on in the chapter. So there'll be basically two types of sequences, arithmetic, which are add and subtract, and then geometric with their multiply or divide pattern. And then um, there will be both what's called like series and sequences. So the sequence is just to generate the terms. So like an add to sequence might be like, start with say seven, then go seven, nine, 11, 13. That's a, a sequence. And then a series is if you just add those terms in the sequence together. And then you have some different formulas when you try and find the sum of the values, which are called a series, right? So just know that this formula sheet is there for you as a reference. I think it'll be pretty helpful for a lot of uh, chapter nine. All right, that's it.
email me blog questions, whatever you need. Uh, good luck and uh, welcome back. I, I look forward to someday being back in the classroom, hopefully sooner than later, but uh, I guess it's all up in the air at this point. All right. Uh, take care. Bye.